Welcome to your Beaufort County News Headlines. I'm Matt Golden here are today's top stories. The Board of Beaufort Jasper Water Sewer and Authority approved more than $110,709,021 in water and wastewater projects in its August meeting. The JWSA is accelerating infrastructure investments to meet regulatory requirements, meet demands driven by growth, and replace aging infrastructure. BJWSA is committed to the provision of water and wastewater services to our current and future customers in the low country, said BJWSA General Manager Verna Arnett in a news release. That mission requires us to replace aging equipment, grow with our population, and adapt to new regulations. Projects moving forward include expanding the Cherry Point Water Reclamation Facility from a capacity of 7.5 million gallons per day to 11.25 MGD. Guaranteed maximum price is around $107.3 million, replacing dilapidated undersized sewer lines along various streets in the city of Beaufort. Investment for this project is $1,055,640. A legislative commission tasked with building a monument to Civil War hero Robert Smalls met for the first time this week to begin laying groundwork to permanently commemorate the former enslaved man turned congressman on the grounds of the SC State House. There's much to be done. The commission, formed by an act of the legislature this year, still has not established a location for the statue, nor have they procured a design or an artist to carry out the project. They also need a way to fund the project, which, like previously constructed monuments to African American history on the grounds, will be funded solely by private donors. Born into enslavement during the Civil War, Small successfully commanded a Confederate transport vessel, the 147-foot side-wheeler steamship, the Planter, in Charleston Harbor, joined the Union side and later played a key role in convincing President Abraham Lincoln to allow black men to serve as soldiers. MUSC Health Pulmonary Medicine's Beaufort office is now open at 1251 Rebo Road in Beaufort. Dr. Peter Manos will continue to offer his expertise in patient care and is accepting patient appointments at the new office. MUSC also welcomes Megan Webb, PAC, to the practice for appointments. The new office offers a wide range of pulmonary services, including pulmonary function test studies, which are essential for diagnosing and managing respiratory conditions. The MUSC Health Sleep Medicine Practice will remain at 989 Rebo Road, Suite 340. This location will continue to offer in-house sleep center to conduct through sleep studies to diagnose and treat various sleep disorders. To schedule an appointment at the new location for MUSC Health Pulmonary Medicine, Buford, call 843-985-3120. Fishing around Beaufort and Port Royal is typically slow in August as the blistering heat warms the water, making the fish lethargic. The vacation charter business for boat captains also begins to cool as kids start returning to school. But over several days earlier this month, the bite in the rivers and streams in the low country salt marshes caught fire, charter boat captains report. Suddenly, clients were reeling in prized local fish like redfish, trout, tarpon, king mackerel, and flounder like it was fall, the best fishing time of the year, and posing for photos that showed them grinning ear to ear as they displayed their catch. What caused the brief fishing frenzy during the dog days of summer? Area Anglers Point's Tropical Storm Debbie, the lumbering low pressure system that spit 15 inches of rain into the low country over several days beginning the week of August 5th. Although the storm flooded area roads and neighborhoods, and blew down trees as it lingered in the low country, the change in atmospheric pressure and the influx of fresh water into tidal rivers and creeks turned out to be a boon to fishing. However, the window was brief a few days before the storm arrived and several days after it departed. For more information on any of these stories, please visit the sources on the screen. And as always, you can head to BeaufortCountySC.gov for press releases straight for Beaufort County. Thanks for tuning in to your Beaufort County News Headlines. Have a great day, Beaufort County.